This is an interesting title. Yeah, it is. <laughs> a real interesting title. Let's find out. I know his wife is black, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe there were some undertones. Maybe he spent too much t- time in the towns, man. He spent too much time in the towns. That being said, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to comment, scrap thumbs up, slap that red button. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's see what Bill Burr talking about, man. Let's, let's talk. Uh, let's talk white women here, shall we? <laughs> let's talk white women. White women, you're amazing, amazing your accomplishments over the last few years. I got to tell you, the way white women somehow hijack the woke movement, <laughs> generals around the world should be analyzing this. <laughs> Just to refresh your memory, the woke movement was supposed to be about people of color not getting opportunities, the at-bats that they deserved, finally making that happen. And it was about that for about eight seconds. And then somehow, white women swung their Gucci-booted feet over the fence of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they did it. I've never heard so much complaining in my life from white women. I hang it to her with my SUV and my heated seats. You have no idea what it's like to be me. Trash and white guys. The nerve. Where's the camera? The nerve of you white women. Let me, I, listen, I don't want to speak ill on my bitches here. Okay? I don't. Well, let's, let's go back in history here. Okay? You guys stood by us toxic white males through centuries of our crimes against humanity. You rolled around in the blood muddy. Yeah. And occasionally when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with the black dude, if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. Yes. Oh my god. He yo, Bill Burby speaking some facts though. Yes. I ain't gonna lie. I remember back when that, that used to happen. Oh yeah. And that's that's just hilarious that he says it. You know what I mean? That's just hilarious that he says it. It's crazy. Like, he, <laughs> yo, he don't hold his tongue, man. He does not bite his tongue at all. Crimes against humanity. You rolled around in the blood muddy. And occasionally when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with the black dude, if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. <laughs> yeah, that's what you did. That's what you did. So why don't you shut up, sit down next to me, and take your talking to? <laughs> Thank you. So I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I think white women started it. Uh, it's the worst. The fucking worst. It's all they do is bitch moan and complain. I had no idea how difficult it was to be a white woman in the United States of America. <laughs> Evidently, it's it's really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh, They're though. Always bitching. Do you have any idea what it's like to be me? Well, I imagine it would be slightly less awesome than my life. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to you de- today, sweetheart, huh? Did they not chill your rosé? You know? Be Was the trolley not running down at the mall? What happened? <laughs> no, it's unreal. I'm really fucking annoyed how white women have the fucking balls to throw my white privilege in my face. You know? <laughs> Start to separate themselves from these white males with their white male privilege. It's like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. <laughs> Yeah, what's your fucking whining? Yeah. Look, right out of the gate. All right, if you're fucking, if you live in some honey boo boo lifestyle on the Appalachian Trail, you know, your uncle just banged you in the dirt. All right, I can listen to you. No, no. No, one of my fantasies is I want to drive by like a woman's rally and just say the most sexist shit I can think of. Oh my God. Just to watch them lose their minds. You know, just drive by real slow and be like, yeah, hey, why don't you get back in the kitchen where you belong? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Just to look in the rearview mirror, watching them fly, flipping out in the road, spinning around like Leatherface at the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like, well, yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yeah. No, it's a very, uh, I don't know. Times are changing, I guess. I don't know. 
Yeah. Michelle Obama's doing an arena tour. That's another thing going on. I'm going to say that again. Michelle Obama <laughs> is doing an arena tour. She's not playing comedy clubs. She's doing arenas. Ah. When did first ladies start acting like they got elected? <laughs> you know? Dude, being a first lady, that's not a fucking job. Right? Look how quiet is it in here. Why is it so fucking quiet? You think that's a job? <laughs> It's not a fucking job. Dude, if you really think it's a job, just look at her. Right? Look at Obama. When that guy got elected, he looked like he was about 41 years old. When he left office, oh, he that guy looked like he was about 73. Yes. Right? Yes. Look at Michelle. She looks younger now than she did when that dude got elected. <laughs> what has she done for the last eight years? Yeah, other than laying a giant vat of Illuminati level lotion. Illuminati just lotion. Floating. A couple hours, a shapeshifter comes in and dumps another bucket on her. <laughs> oh my gosh. She pops her head up. Hey, Bam Bam, tell Stevie Wonder to come down and play some songs he tonight. Said Bam Bam. Bam. Now, I found out she's doing a tour because uh, she's doing a book tour. Yeah, she wrote a book. She wrote a book about not having a job. <laughs> I gotta read that fucking book. Yeah. Chapter one, how to know if a dick tastes presidential. How to, weed your, how to weed your way through all that local representative cock and get to the big swinging dick in the room. Nah. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, say what you want about Republican presidents, but they got their first ladies in line. <laughs> they do. Dude, George W. was president for eight years. Eight years. I don't even know his wife's name. Nah, she used to go out. What was it, there. Abigail or some shit? Maggie? No clue. <laughs> Donald Trump's wife stands behind him like a giant meerkat, like... <laughs> Bill Clinton was president, his wife never shut up. Ah, I want to do health care. Ah. <laughs> he fucked around on her so much, he's like, all right, whatever, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out that fucking tour. I gotta see what that's all about. You know? Yeah. Who opens? Who opens on that fucking tour? Mm. Was it Oprah Winfrey's husband? You know? What? Does he fucking come out and talk about what it's like to walk her dogs? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I see his, and I gotta bring him around. Look, I'm sure that there's some uh, feminists in the crowd right now, not appreciating this joke, feeling triggered, feeling like they need to fucking put out a hashtag or some shit, and be brave and speak out. Yeah. You know what? You're full of shit. <laughs> You are. Yo, he doesn't yes. give two fucks, bro. He does not give two. He looks at the crowd and, yo, you full of shit. I yes. guess that's the way you got to be. Yes. You full of shit. Because at the end of the day, nobody's going to like you anyways. Yeah. 100%. Whether they like you or they don't. Yeah, they, they're just going to talk their shit. Be me. <laughs> you full of shit. Out. <laughs> you know what? You're full of shit. You are. All, all those feminists are full of shit. Because I'm going to tell you right now, someday, someday, there's going to be, there's going to be the first woman president. Mm. All right? Which means, which means, you don't even know what her, you don't even know what her fucking platform is, and you automatically cheer. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the same genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... I'm telling you, they're not smart people. He Feminists, they're, they're not as smart as they're coming off. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yo. Someday, this going to be... By the way, this is going to be my last show ever. By the time this fucking thing comes out. Someday, there's going to be the first female president. Which means, there's going to be the first male first lady. 
All right? Oh, shit. Then you I didn't wait. Even think you about that. fucking wait. I didn't even think the about first that. time that dude opens, he's feminist throwing me. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> it is her time now. Yeah. It is her time. Yeah. She was elected, not you. Go pick out some plates, bitch. Oh, my you God. You are the first lady. Just <laughs> He's gonna get treated like Tom Arnold when he yes. was with Roseanne. Yes. Secret Service name will be like appendix or doesn't matter. <laughs> not worthy of protecting. Just entered the Oval Office. Not worthy of protecting. Yo, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, yo, he's not lying though. Cause can you imagine the first male? First, what are they going to call him? The first man? The first man? Yeah. First lady, first man. I guess that's what they got to call him, man. They can't call him the first lady. Yeah. Well, nowadays, who oh, knows? Yeah. He might. They might call him the first they, them, her, his. Mm -hmm. You never know what they might call him. Nowadays, we just don't know. Yeah. That being said, what did you think? That was hilarious. That shit was <laughs> hilarious. And he don't give two shits. He don't I, give two shits what anybody thinks. Is yeah, you can't quiet him down, and that's good. I think you have to talk to the mic. I've been talking like this, and it's been good. Yeah, I just... All right. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to comment, subscribe, thumbs up, slap that red button.